The resurrection of Jesus Christ refers to the event in which Jesus, after his crucifixion and death, rose from the dead and reappeared to his followers. This miraculous event is a fundamental aspect of the Christian faith, symbolizing the triumph of good over evil, and serves as the basis for the hope of eternal life for all believers. The Gospel narratives provide detailed accounts of Jesus' crucifixion, burial, and subsequent resurrection, including the appearances of the risen Christ to various individuals and groups. These accounts, written by Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, form the core historical evidence for the resurrection and its significance in Christianity. In this lesson, we delve into the topic of Christ's resurrection, exploring its historical authenticity, examining the opposing theories, and discussing its significance in Christianity. Welcome to SD Kaysen Courses, and today's topic is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The main sources which directly attest the fact of Christ's resurrection are the four Gospels and the Epistles of St. Paul. Easter morning is so rich in incident and so crowded with interested persons that its complete history presents a rather complicated tableau. It is not surprising, therefore, that the partial accounts contained in each of the four Gospels appear at first sight hard to harmonize. But whatever exegetic view as to the visit to the sepulchre by the pious women and the appearance of the angels we may defend, we cannot deny the evangelist's agreement as to the fact that the risen Christ appeared to one or more persons. According to St. Matthew, he appeared to the holy women and again on a mountain in Galilee. According to St. Mark, he was seen by Mary Magdalene, by the two disciples at Emmaus, and the eleven before his ascension into heaven. According to St. Luke, he walked with the disciples to Emmaus, appeared to Peter, and to the assembled disciples in Jerusalem. According to St. John, Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene, to the ten apostles on Easter Sunday, to the eleven a week later, and to the seven disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. St. Paul, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3-8, to enumerates another series of apparitions of Jesus after his resurrection. He was seen by Cephas, by the eleven, by more than five hundred brethren, many of whom were still alive at the time of the apostles' writing, by James, by all the apostles, and lastly by Paul himself. The fact of Christ's resurrection is attested by more than five hundred eyewitnesses and is a fundamental aspect of the Christian faith. Despite this, various opposing theories have been proposed throughout history, attempting to discredit the resurrection's authenticity. We will examine each of these theories and analyze their shortcomings. 1. The Swoon Theory Proponents of this theory argue that Jesus did not truly die on the cross, but merely fell into a temporary swoon, and his resurrection was simply a return to consciousness. This theory is incompatible with the Gospel accounts, which detail the intense physical suffering Jesus endured, ultimately leading to his undeniable death. Furthermore, a mere return to consciousness after such a traumatic experience would not have inspired the profound joy and triumph experienced by Jesus' followers. 2. The Imposition Theory This theory asserts that the disciples stole Jesus' body from the tomb and then claimed that he had risen from the dead. However, this notion is implausible, as it is highly unlikely that the apostles would have preached a message of truth and righteousness while basing their entire mission on a lie. Additionally, they had nothing to gain and everything to lose, including their lives, by spreading this message. 3. The Vision Theory According to this theory, the resurrection was not a physical event, but rather a series of subjective visions experienced by Jesus' followers, driven by their intense grief and hope for his return. This theory fails to account for the consistency of the appearances of the risen Christ in the Gospel accounts, and the fact that these appearances occurred to various individuals and groups over a considerable period. Moreover, the apostles' initial disbelief in Jesus' resurrection undermines the notion that they were merely experiencing visions based on their expectations. 4. The Modernist View This perspective suggests that the resurrection cannot be historically proven and is instead a supernatural event inferred by Christian consciousness. It also argues that the initial faith of the apostles was focused on Jesus' immortal life rather than his physical resurrection. 
The church has rejected this view as it undermines the historical evidence for the empty tomb and the resurrection's role as the cornerstone of Christian faith. In conclusion, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is a vital cornerstone of Christianity, teaching us the life lesson of hope, faith, and the ultimate triumph of good over evil. Each of the opposing theories falls short in providing a compelling alternative explanation for the resurrection. Embracing the truth of the resurrection can strengthen our conviction and commitment to living a life of grace and righteousness. And that was the resurrection of Jesus Christ in a nutshell. Thanks for learning with us. Until next time, may God bless you forever and ever.